Welcome to a Tuesday morning, everybody. Let's continue our conversation about Canadian wildfire smoke. Yes, it's coming down from Canada. There's about 130 forest fires up there going. You can see this is the air quality index map. Any place where you see the yellows and the oranges and the reds, that's poor air quality. We have a couple of yellow uh, air quality uh, indexes uh, up around our area right now to where it's showing if you look at the air quality index and we quantify it we're in the moderate air quality between 51 and 100 if it was to go to the orange which i don't think it will but if it does that's when they would issue an air quality advisory remember last year we had unhealthy and very unhealthy air for several days here and there across west michigan and a lot of that canadian wildfire smoke penetrated all the way down into the southeast united states the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic. Here's what the uh, forecast model is showing for us as we go through the time frame here. This blue is, means that some of that Canadian wildfire smoke is going to drift in here, but I think it will thin out and it probably won't trigger an advisory for us. But suffice to say, we are going to see some of that Canadian wildfire smoke in here to some degree. It probably won't be that noticeable, but that's something that our team is watching and we've been watching that for the last couple of days. We have a few light showers across our southern counties there south of on 84 there was a shower around northern portions of allegan county there's a couple of sprinkles and showers around the area but it's not widespread we're not expecting widespread showers and uh, not expecting it to be prolonged but maybe a passing shower a few sprinkles or some drizzle out there we have a cold front over the area and a low pressure system on the other side of the chicago area just creating some lift so we'll be kept in the cloud cover today and also uh, the chance of light passing shower or two, especially through the morning hours here. Our northern counties are in the 50s. We're in the mid to upper 50s in most areas along and south of I-94 around the 60 degree mark. Today, we're looking for mostly cloudy skies, cooler than yesterday. We made 80 yesterday. We'll probably only get back in about the low to mid 60s with maybe a few light showers or some sprinkles around the area. You can see that on future track. There's not a whole lot out there, but some of these showers may kind of erupt across the area, but it's not going to amount to a whole lot. Uh, as that system pulls farther away, the showers will move out of here. And as we get into uh, Wednesday, I would expect we'll see some sunshine with temperatures tomorrow a little bit warmer into the low, maybe the mid-70s. Wednesday night into Thursday, we've got clear to partly cloudy skies. And then as we go through Thursday, we'll see a fair amount of sunshine. But this next system will be rolling in here Thursday night into Friday. Friday, and that'll likely give us some shower chances by that time. So maybe a few light showers or sprinkles through the morning hours here. Otherwise, just mostly cloudy for tomorrow. Some sunshine, 73 degrees there as we get into Thursday. Sunshine, but some evening or nighttime showers will be possible. 74 there, a chance of a shower or thunderstorm on Friday. 70 degrees there. And we're in the mid, maybe the upper 70s as we get into this upcoming weekend. That's our forecast at 649. How about another look at traffic? Here's Rob.